Hey everybody, how are you doing today? So, I'm going to test the emulation on Motorola Moto G 5G and we're going to see the performance of this phone. So, I have three emulation applications. Uh, one of them is Dolphin Emulator, which is, as you know, is for the Dreamcast and the Wii. Uh, Sister Emulator is for Nintendo 3DS. And we have the PSP Emulator, which is, as you know, is for PSP. Uh, so let's start with the Dolphin emulator and for those who doesn't know Dolphin is now function really good on Android especially with the newest chipset that we have so we have 750 uh, G here it's a 5G chipset from Qualcomm I'm gonna see how uh, Zelda is functioning here on the uh, phone so let's take a look at the setting before we go any further um, so let's take a look. This is the setting over here. Let's just show the FPS and if we go to Enhancement internal resolution, it's on 1x. So I'm gonna put it on 720p 2x. I'm gonna save and let's start the Zelda game and Let's hope this thing works fine. Uh, it's my first time testing this uh, emulation on this chipset so here's start uh, say press any button and you say pressed it and we're gonna wait let's just increase the volume if there is no volume just a little bit so we don't get kicked out of YouTube all right so let's take a look at if there is any issues okay you see we have some issues here the FPS is dropped heavily actually dropped so we might need to do some adjust, um, adjustments. Okay, so let's go back. Let's go back to config. Let's reduce the volume a little bit. Let's go back to config setting. And it's an open GL. So if we switch it back, but we have to turn off the game, right? Um, let's go back to his enhancement. I'm going to keep it on 720p. I'm not going to reduce it. Uh, actually, let's go back. Let's go out of the game. Okay, so let's go to um, resolution, open GL. Let's put it on Vulcan and hope it's actually going to work better. Uh, we don't know. We are testing this right now and we hope that we can get a better um, performance and for those who have the 750g also if you are playing around with it please share in the comment section what do you think the best setting for uh this type of for uh, nintendo or oh, dolphin sorry okay it's slow but it's still uh, still it's not playable Okay, so let's do another thing. Go back to here. And go to enhancement. Internal resolution. Let's drop the resolution. And let's go back to put it on OpenGL because it performs better on OpenGL. Let's go to shaders and skip drowning. And by shadow starts aspect ratio enhancement hacks, nothing. All right, so let's start here and see what we have. Okay. Let's hope it's gonna work fine right now. We reduced the resolution, so. Yep. yep. Oh, still. All right, so Dolphin, you might face some issues with the gaming because this is like a stress test. So if this one succeed, you're probably going to play almost every game that you can on Dolphin. Let's go to Cetra. Let's turn off all the stuff. Uh, let's go to Cetra and Shin Megami Tensei game. Let's go to setting and let's go to graphics. Turn resolution. It's 1x. Let's put it on 2x. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. 2x Shin Megami Tensei. 
uh, a lot of no problems. It's just not my main phone, so. So straight away, you can see if there is some issues. Okay, so the entering scene doesn't have any hiccups. Now, as you know, 3DS is actually built to be a touch screen on the uh, 3DS on the Android, so it's really great. You can use either touch or use the analog, and you can play with one hand. So we don't have data saved here. But if you can actually hear the music running smoothly, you're probably good to go. And if there's no cutting in the sound and anything slow, that will be fine. Let's just see the cutscene of if they are okay. Yep. Yep, it's good. If that time comes, no matter how many times you would be forced to. Yep, so 3DS is actually very nice and very playable. So, how do I know when you play the cuts in the beginning, you'll see a lot of cutting, a lot of slowness, uh, a lot of delay? But in this case, it works really fine. So, Cetra uh, actually, as an emulator, has grown uh, a lot in uh, Android uh, ecosystem. So, that's really great. Let's take a look at PSP real quick. Game on, and we're gonna see the um, what do you call it? God of War. Uh, let's go to setting, and it's on Vulcan 3x. What's how many? Two x. I will put it on. Let's put it on four x. Okay. Works. Let's go. Let's go deep. All right. Let's go back. Continue. And let's press start and see if it's actually be okay to be playable on uh, the Motorola Moto G5. Oh, you can see a lot of <laughs> a lot of uh, issues right here. So let's probably back to three X and see. Yep. Working fine. Dun 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 Suffering for years, Kratos, the once great general. Okay, let's just skip to the game. Set of set away. All right, this is the game, guys. And I can tell you it's a 60 FPS right now. Let me just put the FPS for you to actually see. Um, where is it? FPS frames per second. Show FPS counter. FPS. Okay. Go back. Okay. Check this out. 53. 54 Not quite 60, but it's very 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 playable Very very playable Let me show you That's on 3x guys So I would say, uh, actually, so in the kiss cut scene, it does uh, stutter. Is the stutter there in the cut scene? So let's go to 2x, and I think this is perfect. The perfect is to play it on 2x, and you know, because of the heavy cut scene, sometimes it becomes so hard to. Uh, and this is a small 60 FPS, no issues at all. So yeah, that's it guys. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.